Yo, what up guys, it's Colin here from CH Gadgets and this is the V-Motor Crossfade 2 Wireless Codec Edition. And you know what that means, in this video, we're gonna unbox it and check it out. I got some thoughts and a whole bunch of expectations. Let's see if it can live up to the hype. By the way, if this is your first time here and you love tech and gadgets just like I do, and you wanna see all the cool new tech that I get to test and play with every week, then start now by clicking that subscribe button and tapping that bell notification icon so that you don't miss out on any of my new videos when they drop. So you can get this one in three different colors, matte black, matte white, and rose gold. I believe the one in here is the matte black, but we'll definitely see once we get inside the box. And the price on this one is about $349.98. It was about 350 bucks. All right, let's not waste no more time. Let's get inside the box and see what's up. So as you can see, got a bunch of seals. Got about three different seals right there. Let's pop those and see what's up. By the way, shout out to my unboxing knife, the Gearhead from Mantis Knife. Links in the description. All right, let's pop this one first. Let's see. Yeah, we definitely got that. And then this, it's like popping champagne. Woo! I don't know, is this one a clip? Oh yes, it is. It's a really nice clip. And you pop it open. And there you got some, some info. That's what it looks like on the inside. There you go. Oh man, this thing is really, really small. Look at that. It's really compact. So let's do a quick little tour. Got a nice little carabiner. Got some more V-Motor logo on the back. Got some V-Motor branding right there. Unzip this and see what we're looking at here. Ooh wee. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Got a V motor right there. I like the color scheme. So you got that snap in inch. Yeah, this thing is the real deal right here. Also, I forgot to show you something. It's on the bottom right here. It says beware of fake. So yeah, you definitely, there's some fake out there, so. You definitely want to buy yours through the right channel so you don't don't get no fake. And there you go. Fresh out of the box, matte black V Motor Crossfade 2 wireless codec edition. Look at the bottom. Got a USB port. You got your headphone jack. By the way, where's the headphone jack? Okay, so nicely tuck away inside is this orange color scheme headphone jack. Nicely wrapped. Oh man, this thing feels really good. It's braided and it's, it's in this nice orange color scheme. It has a mic, which is good. And it got an inline control, which is also good. By the way, I don't know if you can see on the inside, you see Crossfade 2 right there. The other side, got V motor right there. That's a pretty nice touch. It also color scheme, so you can know your right from your left. So when you look on this side, it's V motor, Crossfade. Oh man, that feels good. That feels good. How does it look? It looks good, what I'm seeing right here. I'm already sold. <laughs> I haven't heard it yet, but I'm sold. I like it. All right, let's fire this thing up and um, pair it up. Let's see. See how it sounds? All right. Man, this thing sounds so good. Check this out, I'm gonna listen to some more music, I'm gonna go some different genres, and I'm gonna come right back, and I'm gonna let y'all know what's good. But so far, it's good. Let's go. Six months later. So, I got a chance to spend some time with this headphone. 
My overall experience so far has been really positive. As a matter of fact, I'm really impressed. But let me break it down so you can see where I'm coming from. So let me first start off by saying there were a few things initially that I thought would be a big problem for me, but they end up being not so bad after all. For example, the controls on the right ear cup at first seemed like they were awkwardly placed, but after using them for a while, I quickly realized they were actually ergonomically placed. So instead of reaching over on the side, twiddling with some tiny buttons, I can instead just reach over and tap any one of these large buttons right here at the top of the ear cup in order to control the volume, pause and play, skip and replay track, and also to summon the Google Assistant or whichever one you use. I also thought that the inside of the ear cups would be a bit too small for my L-shaped ear, but actually fit inside really comfortably and snug and the clamping force also provide enough pressure along with the ear pads inside the cabin to let me really feel that bass impact. But we'll definitely get into sound quality and performance, so keep watching. But it feels premium and substantial. However, one of the coolest things about this headphone that I really like is actually the contour of the headband. What can I say? To me, it's genius. They designed it well. So because of the sturdy metal frame, along with again, as I mentioned before, the clamping force, the headphone wraps itself around your head, no matter how large your noggin is. And it also creates a nice, even distribution of pressure along the crown of your head and also in the temple area. And as you can see, it doesn't affect my glasses too much. Okay, so let's talk sound quality and audio delivery. And the very first time I put these on and I turned them on and I put some music on, I immediately realized why they were so popular. V-Motor actually designed these so you can actually have a party inside your headphone. And that's not a bad thing. So what does that mean? Well, the short answer is this is a lot of fun. And the long answer is it provides a lot of good quality sound with crisp, detailed highs and mids and rich, deep, punchy bass. Now, it's not sub bass level, but it provides enough depth to enhance the fun factor. And trust me, this thing is a lot of fun. Another thing that I think I should point out is I did notice that these excel with certain genres more than they do with others. So if you listen to a lot of hip hop, R&B, house music, EDM, pop, and some rock, then you should buy these right now. Go. Now, don't get me wrong. It's not that they don't sound good with the genres that I didn't mention. It's just that I noticed that they shine really well with the ones that I previously mentioned. They also work really good for making phone calls. The person on the other hand told me that I was coming through loud and clear. Speaking of loud and clear, yes, these things can get really loud while still maintaining a clean delivery. I really like what V-Mode has done here and I'm thoroughly enjoying the Crossfade 2 wireless. And there are a lot more things with this headphone that I could talk about but I think I've mentioned the most important bits so far. This is a really great pair of headphones and it sounds really good, but it doesn't have active noise canceling and also it doesn't have transparency mode and it also costs $350. But based on what it has to offer and what it's delivering and based on also on your needs because this is actually the codec edition, then it might work to ask. However, this might not be the right fit for everyone since a lot of headphones at this price come with ANC and also transparency mode. But if you are in the market for an exceptional pair of headphones that has every single codec that you need to ensure that you have a high quality audio listening, low latency audio experience, then V-Motor Crossfade 2 Wireless Codec Edition comes highly recommended by me. This thing is just one of those doozies that just can't be denied. And I love every minute of it. If you feel like being awesome and you want to support, then hit that like button. It's your boy CH. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace. Wait.